I'm kind of sick and tired of people messaging back and forth on email and being like, hey, when can you meet? I would like the entire world to realize you can just use a calendar booking software like the ones I'm gonna talk about in this video. They're so easy to use. They're so simple. And honestly, I seriously, I don't, I don't get why people don't use them. The first one that I started using was actually Calendly. It's one that very simply put, revolutionized the way that we utilize this kind of software. The pricing on this is not bad. The basic always free option is really good for most people. Um, you can create unlimited one-on-one -on -one meeting events. You can make unlimited one-off meetings, customize your booking link and do a lot, but you're not gonna have like payment integrations. You're not gonna have other types of integrations that are very useful. For example, if you're running ads and you wanna see the conversion come through for you doing it. For someone booking a call, doesn't work with the other options I'm gonna show with this video. So I gotta say, Calendly is the most robust and has the most API connections, has webhooks, has even an iPhone app, connection to Google Analytics, and a lot of other things with the premium plan that these other applications do not have. Setting up your availability is very easy here and you can set the availability across all of the booking links at once. And you can look at it from a calendar view or a list view, which is very nice. And you can choose what events these are active on so that you can put it across everything and you don't have to worry about like, all right, I have to do it for every single one and make sure that all of the booking hours are the same across everything, which is what you have to do with TidyCal. And TidyCal is essentially 90% of what Calendly is. Subtract the integrations and subtract the very thing I just mentioned about the booking links having to individually be the same availability in order for you to not have weird overlap. However, you can do a lot of this stuff for free, but you get it for life for 29 bucks. I bought TidyCal eight, nine months ago and I haven't been upset with it since. It has a Stripe integration, a PayPal integration, and for one single payment of 29 bucks, I was able to get exactly what I needed. This has integrations with Zapier, so I'm able to use it for automation in order to have onboarding for clients work well. I do have to unfortunately make sure that all of my booking times are the same across the board for all of these, which is kind of annoying, but it's cool. It's got public views, it's got private views, it's got a booking page, so this one is the only public one and a lot of the other ones are for current clients or one-off paid calls. It's all about what you want and this one definitely is not that hard to use. It is a lifetime product, which you really don't see in software that often anymore. And I do appreciate, appreciate it for what it is. But last but not least, my favorite calendar app on the market, in full transparency, I do have a partnership with Morgan and I do make videos for them. I'm like the, I'm the face of Morgan. But they have a really nice scheduling option as well. And it is one of the best ones I've seen out there. Now they are working on different integrations for things like payments and having more Zapier integrations so I could make the sequence a thing. So I can be like, hey, someone booked a link this way. Then I can trigger a Notion sequence. I can trigger multiple different things in Zapier. Once that's a thing, I might, I will probably ditch TidyCal. But for now, I use one-off personal meetings for like quick syncs with this one rather than consulting calls. Unfortunately, the consulting situation, I can't ask people to pay. I can't ask people to join consulting calls and have the automations run. But this has all the baseline functionality of general meetings. And from a pricing perspective, for free, you get the calendar account connected to it. You get one recurrent scheduling link. You have unlimited one-time scheduling links and you have tasks, lists, productivity tools and shortcuts. And for four bucks a month, you get multiple calendar accounts and then a couple integrations. And then for pro, you get all this, the, the whole shebang here, which is really good. So you can see the amount of different options you have here. I do think it's the best calendar app on the market. And once they implement something like this, as you can see, when I go to the scheduling link, if I want to edit it, I have a very nice setup for like slotting in different appointments. I actually have a meeting with them tomorrow and it was used with this because it is so much easier to set up something in a situation like this where it's connected to your calendar and you can see it and slot it in calendar view wise. And as you can see here, if I edit this Morgan link just like that, I can slot it one time. And then once I send this out to the person, it will give them multiple options as to when they can schedule it with me. I personally think that if you're gonna choose an app like this, Morgan might be the one for you because Moving forward, they will add this other functionality and it will be baked in with your calendar app. And also they have tasks baked in. This is one of those things where it's like, the one app to rule them all thing, is like an argument, it's like, oh, they can't be a thing. But also, you gotta admit, it is pretty dang cool to have tasks, your calendar, and your scheduling links, which 
obviously should go with your calendar in one place. Just like my YouTube channel is a repository of productivity information, like this video right here.